Israel, understandably, has a complex array of air defense, protecting their land from incoming Hamas missile attacks. Each system serves a different purpose, from short-range imminent attacks to intercepting significant long-range attacks from miles away. All of these systems are sophisticated weaponry that has been designed to combat threats, the likes of which are very real in today's climate. Let's take a look at these different systems and how they work. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. The first system is arguably the most sophisticated and state-of-the-art as it looks like something from a sci-fi movie. That's because it's a high-powered laser known as the Iron Beam. This weapon has been brought in to complement the well-known Iron Dome, which we'll look at later. One of the main limitations of the dome is its rate of fire and the cost incurred by constantly having to replenish its missile arsenal. A solution to this is the Iron Beam. It utilizes a fiber laser to eliminate airborne threats, which offers a cost-effective and efficient solution. Further to this, it is highly versatile and can function as a standalone defense mechanism or be integrated into a broader air defense system like Israel has done. Using a high-energy beam has other key advantages. Compared to traditional missile interceptors, the Iron Beam offers significantly lower costs per shot, unlimited firing capacity, providing there's a power source, reduced expenses to operate the weapon, and the laser takes away the risk of debris from the interceptor falling on protected areas. Its effectiveness in destruction is also impressive. In 2020, the system showed an impressive effective range of up to 7 kilometers or 4.4 miles, capable of quickly neutralizing missiles, UAVs, and mortar shells within seconds after the target had been engaged. There are also plans to increase energy levels reaching 100 kilowatts, which will further increase its range and potency. The beam is courtesy of Israel-based Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. In March 2022, the engineering company conducted a series of successful live fire tests where a demonstrator intercepted UAVs, mortars, rockets, and anti-tank missiles in different scenarios. Rafael has been developing laser technology for 20 years, but in the last two years, the company has focused on how to keep the beam concentrated enough so it can neutralize threats at greater distances. The Iron Beam has been designed to work in tandem with Israel's Iron Dome air defense system, which is also made by Rafael. Operators will be able to choose whether to neutralize threats using traditional kinetic missiles or the Iron Beam's laser. The Iron Dome is the world's most used multi-mission air defense missile system. It was developed by Rafael to intercept the growing number of missiles being launched into Israeli territory. The system was designed to counter very short-range rockets and 155mm artillery shell threats with ranges of up to 70 kilometers or 44 miles. A huge advantage of the system is that it can be operated in all weather conditions, including challenging environments like fog, dust storms, low clouds, and rain. The system detects, analyzes, and intercepts a range of incoming threats, including counter-rocket, artillery, mortar, precise guided missiles, cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, air-breathing threats, and dense salvos. The Iron Dome has an excellent reputation for success, and this comes from intercepting more than 2,500 incoming targets, with a more than 90% success rate since its launch. The Iron Dome has three key elements, a battlefield radar which locates incoming missiles, a BMC system then reads the data transmitted from the radar, which then passes this to a missile firing unit which launches a faster missile to intercept the incoming target at a higher altitude. The system's radar is very impressive, with a range spanning 4 to 70 kilometers, 2.5 to 44 miles. This is the first important step when it comes to effective interception. The firing unit is a first-of-its-kind multi-mission launcher designed to fire diverse interceptor missiles. The missiles feature electro-optic sensors and several steering fins for high maneuverability with proximity fuse blast warheads. Next is David's Sling. 
This is an air and missile defense system designed to defeat short-range ballistic missiles, large-caliber rockets, and cruise missiles. It was co-developed with the United States to sit in the middle tier of Israel's overall missile defense architecture, between the shorter-range Iron Dome and upper-tier, longer-range Aero systems, which we'll look at later. The David Sling Weapon System, or DSWS, consists of a vertical missile firing unit, an ELM-2084 fire control radar, a battle management operator station, and the Stunner Interceptor. It's been designed to intercept ballistic and cruise missiles at ranges of 40 through 300 kilometers, 24 to 187 miles. The Stunner Interceptor missile is a two-stage, 4.6-meter or 15-foot-long weapon that can intercept targets at altitudes of up to 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles. It uses a three-pulse solid propellant motor to reach speeds of up to 9,261 kilometers per hour or 5,754 miles per hour. Its first two pulses propel the missile through its initial trajectory, while the third helps to steer the interceptor and increase speed before hitting its target. Unlike Iron Dome's Tamir missile, Stunner has no warhead, instead defeating targets by hitting them directly. The missile's asymmetric, dolphin-shaped nose has two sensors for terminal guidance. The first is a combined electro-optical imaging infrared sensor, and there's also a radar seeker for all-weather performance. For mid-course guidance, the missile reads updates from the system's ground-based radar through an onboard data link. Each of these missiles costs an estimated $1 million to produce. The firing unit for the David Sling is a trailer-mounted vertical launch system designed for the Stunner missile. Each unit can hold up to 12 missiles, and all of these parts are made in the United States. The system's multi-mission radar, also known as the ELM-2084, is an active, electronically steered array operating in the S-band frequency. This radar can work as both an air surveillance or fire control radar. In surveillance mode, it can track up to a huge 1,100 targets at a range of 474 kilometers, or 295 miles. To give 360-degree surveillance, it can rotate its antenna array at 30 rotations per minute. In control mode, it can track up to 200 targets a minute at ranges of 100 kilometers or 62 miles. This mode is used to guide stunner interceptors until their onboard seekers can find the target itself. The final system we're going to look at is Aero. Aero 3 is the third iteration of an exo-atmospheric anti-ballistic missile defense system co-developed and produced by Israel and the U.S. for long-range threat engagement. The Aero 3 interceptor was co-developed by Boeing and Israel Aerospace Industries. Aero 3 is a key element of the country's multi-layered defense missile array, which also includes its predecessor Aero 2, David Sling, and the iron active defense systems we've already looked at. Aero was inducted into the Israeli Air Force in 2017. Aero's purpose is to intercept ballistic missiles outside of the Earth's atmosphere. It has a very compact and innovative design. The system weighs about half of the Aero 2 weapon system and still gives greater speed and range. It provides hypersonic capabilities and is able to defend a very large area. This provides comprehensive defense of strategic sites and large populated areas. It can take out long-range threats, including those carrying weapons of mass destruction, at a significant distance from targets. Aero 3 provides a high kill rate against all types of theater ballistic missiles and warheads. The interceptor can be integrated with the system's battery, comprising a ground-based radar, a battle management system, launchers, and a launch control center. The missile system uses hit-to-kill technology to neutralize incoming missiles. The missile is launched vertically, but then changes trajectory towards the estimated interception point. The kill vehicle is launched once the hostile warhead is identified and the target is close enough. The mobile and highly transportable launcher provides vertical hot launch capability from sealed canisters with omnidirectional coverage. Each launcher has the capacity to hold six canisters, it can accommodate Aero 3 and Aero 2 interceptors. The missile can be placed in a 21-inch vertical launch tube and provides fast reaction times to engage multiple ballistic missiles. 
The hypersonic weapon system has two solid propulsion stages, including a booster and a sustainer. Using this, it gives the interceptor a range of 2,400 kilometers, or 1,491 miles, and can engage threats at an altitude of 100 kilometers, or 62 miles. What are your thoughts on these defense systems? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.